Bye. afternoon happy sunday welcome back to another vlog we are just picking up where i left off in the last vlog basically what is happening here this lighting is kind of terrible but if you saw my last vlog my parents came to visit me for a week they just left yesterday it was a good visit we had really nice weather so we were just out doing stuff the entire week spent a lot of time at the pool and the beach and it was fun but honestly I am so exhausted like because we were just so go 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 the whole time and I'm just kind of looking forward to like having a chill week staying home <laughs> getting caught up on chores and work and stuff like that so yeah today I've been having a little bit of like a slower lazy kind of day I also <sighs> Have my period and i have some cramping which is not very fun so uh i've just been trying to take it easy today but i did start some laundry which actually i have to throw in the dryer now i just remembered um and i edited and posted a video so i'm getting some things done now i am about to henna my eyebrows i do that every like month and a half or so but yeah you can tell especially this eyebrow it's just like naturally not as full as this one my brow hairs are really ashy so i like to tint them with henna it stains the hairs and the skin and it just makes them darker and look a little bit fuller i'm just gonna wash my face first really quick to make sure there's no moisturizer or oil or anything on my brows so that the henna really takes So this is what I use. It's from the brand Elibana. I get it in the shade Natural Brown. I've been doing this for the last couple of years. I did get my eyebrows microbladed years ago. You can kind of see there's a little bit of ink still kind of lingering underneath. But it's like almost completely faded at this point. I've considered getting them done again like either microblading or the shading or like combo brows or there's so many different options now but like a permanent type of eyebrow situation but honestly doing this is so quick and easy it takes me like two minutes to apply and it lasts for about six weeks so I really don't mind just doing the henna you know what? I'm just gonna use the viewfinder as my mirror so I literally just trace the shape and they look really dark and scary at first but then after it processes and you wipe this off they're like the perfect shade of brown. So there we go that's how they look while they're processing. Like I said, I know it looks a little bit scary, but in the end, they look really good. So this is gonna sit for at least 30 minutes. Like I was saying, the first time I got my eyebrows microbladed, it was back in 2018. And I'll be honest, I didn't really do my research. I just kind of like went to someone that I knew through somebody else. And I absolutely loved the shape of them, but I felt like they were just too harsh and a little bit too dark and especially I think the issue too was when I got them done my hair color was like a really really dark brown almost black and I like to change my hair color pretty frequently so they just looked a little bit too dark and a little bit too harsh and I didn't end up loving how they looked so I was just kind of letting them fade and now I'm just a little bit 
scared. You really have to do your research and go to someone good and make sure that if you are someone that changes your hair color frequently, the color that they're doing on you is going to work. That's why I really like this natural brown color of the henna because I feel like no matter what shade of brown my hair is, it's kind of like the perfect in between. It works with pretty much anything. It's not like too light or too dark, but that's why I'm not like in a hurry to get the microbladed again because I know I get questions every so often about that. While these are processing, I am going to make myself a smoothie. I know I've been making smoothies a lot in my vlogs lately, but well, it's summertime now. It's hot and this is really filling and very refreshing. So I've just been having them a lot. Do spinach, unsweetened coconut milk, half of a frozen banana, and frozen mango chunks. That's lunch. Oh, and I should probably put that laundry in the dryer before I forget. I can't believe that I literally am just like confidently on camera on the internet for thousands of people to watch looking like this. And I don't even think twice about it. You know, it, it just is what it is. Do you look on his face that you just referenced during this incident? It's a few hours later. My lips are so dry. Laneige lip sleeping mask. My favorite thing ever. Oh, here's how the brows turned out, by the way. See, they don't look scary afterwards. It's just like the perfect shade of brown. Just makes them a little bit darker and fuller looking. It's crazy, like what a difference it makes. But yeah, I did a little bit of cleaning up in the kitchen and then I had dinner, just got out of the shower, made myself an iced chai. And now I'm gonna FaceTime Julia because it is time for us to record our podcast for the week. We typically record on Sundays and then our episodes go up every Thursday. And I'm very excited for this week's episode because we are gonna be talking about social media. By the time you're seeing this vlog, that episode should already be up. So if you haven't listened to it already and you would like to, or any of our previous episodes, our podcast is just basically like girl chat. And we talk about a lot of different things. Occasionally we'll do like more serious topics um, we've talked about body image before and like pressures of getting older and things like that. And then sometimes we'll keep it more lighthearted and we'll talk about dating and hookup culture and play games, things like that. It's, it's pretty fun. I'll have a link to it in the description. I would really appreciate it if you would go follow, give us a rating, leave a review, all that good stuff. I am going to call her now. Oh. Puff, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> I have to close my door. Oh, Puff would like to join. She has some thoughts to share. Good morning. So if you guys saw my last vlog, I was going through my closet and I pulled out a few things that I no longer wanted and I posted it all on my Poshmark and almost everything sold within like a day or two of me posting that video. So thank you so much if you purchased an item. So I'm just separating each order. Okay, so that's ready to go. I don't have a printer, so I need to go to my apartment complex's office to print out the shipping labels, and then I'm gonna head over to the post office, get these all packaged up, and send them out. And then I need to go to the grocery store because I'm running low on a few things. I'm in one of those moods where I really don't feel like leaving the house and going anywhere, so I just need to force myself to just do it and get it over with. Anyone else get like that? I feel like especially now that I just work from home, I'll occasionally just get those days where like, I don't know, I get like social anxiety kind of, and I just don't want to leave the house. Like I don't 
want to be around people uh yeah so i just have to force myself to do it so i live alone now i'm single i don't have anybody that can like go run errands for me or come with me it's got to get done so i, I gotta do it just gotta force myself and I'd rather just get it over with now than like leave it for later in the day or later in the week because then the longer I put it off the more I'm just gonna think about it and then like the worse the anxiety is gonna get let me know if you can relate to that it's definitely gotten better as I'm getting older it used to be really really bad a few years ago but every so often I just have days or weeks where I feel that way went to grab my camera to start recording and I have the strap attached to it so that when I am out and about recording I don't drop my camera but my camera was on top of the dresser here and the strap got caught on the knob on the drawer slipped out of my hand crashed down on the floor I got so scared but it seems like everything is okay thank god and I have carpet so yeah I think it's okay I and I have insurance on the camera but Still, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, the thing that I purposely have on this camera to prevent me from dropping it and breaking it made me drop it. Good morning, or is it afternoon now? It's afternoon. Yesterday, I got back from running my errands and I did a little bit of cleaning and organizing. When my parents came to visit me last week, they brought me these two big bins that I had back at their house filled with my fall and Christmas decor um, and they also brought me my fake Christmas tree but I had to organize the storage closet that is out like off of the side of my balcony because that's kind of the only storage I have and I had a bunch of crap just kind of like thrown in there and I needed to organize it a little bit better so that everything could fit in there it's not the, like the most organized thing ever but everything fits in there and I know where everything is so it works for now and I'm currently washing my comforter I'm gonna do all of my bed sheets but right now I want to put together this bar cart that I got from Amazon I am so excited I wanted a cute way to store and kind of display like my liquor bottles and margarita glasses martini glasses I felt like oh let me see if I can find like a little small round bar cart that maybe I'm thinking will fit on this side of my couch. Fingers crossed. Um, I checked the measurements and I measured and I think it should fit okay, but you never know. Like I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't look too cramped. Look how cute. I really like this a lot. I love that it has the wheels and the wheels do lock. And it has the little racks under here for your wine glasses. It kind of sucks because I wish they were like a little bit longer so that you could fit two glasses. I could squeeze a second one on here, but they kind of were like bumping into each other and were a little squished. But if this was just a little bit longer and stretched like all the way from the back, it would be perfect. But I mean, it still works. Then I have all my margarita and martini glasses down here. It has these three wine bottle holders at the bottom and then I have some liquor bottles and shot glasses up here and I feel like it doesn't take up too much space at all it's actually perfect the only thing that kind of sucks is it looks a little bit cluttered down here because of the way this lamp is if I had just like a regular lamp with one stand 
then obviously it would look a lot better but i really really like this lamp a lot and i don't want to get rid of it maybe one day i will find a different place for that like maybe i'll put that in the bedroom and figure out something else to put over here but for now in the meantime i'm just gonna leave it like that it doesn't bother me that much honestly at least not right now give it time i'm sure like throughout the day the more i keep looking at it it eventually will bother me but <laughs> as of now i like it i'll put a link to this in the description if you guys are interested like i said it's from amazon with like tax and everything it was like 120 which is not bad i shopped around for a while i had it saved in my cart so I was like, mm, let me see if I can find it somewhere else a little bit cheaper. Uh, no, this was the cheapest that I could find. And it's actually pretty good quality, pretty easy to assemble. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday. It's already like 2.30. And I'll be completely honest, I've done a whole lot of nothing <laughs> so far today. I did take Benny out for two walks. Oh, and I, I should have took out my camera and recorded this, but I was just so pissed off in the moment that I didn't. When we came in after the first walk this morning, I had a completely full, fresh cup of coffee sitting on the coffee table, and I was about to drink it, but then he was going to the door that he wanted to go out. So I was like, let me just take him out real quick. Came back inside. His leash was still on him, and I have one of those like long, retractable leashes now, and I was still holding onto the leash, and I literally turned around for one second to close the door and he, I don't know what happened, but he like wrapped around the coffee table and something happened that he like jumped and the leash got caught on the coffee cup and it sent it flying in the air. Coffee went all over the place, all over the coffee table. It even splattered onto the dresser that my TV is on. Some of it even got on the TV and it got all over the floor. And of course I had the air mattress folded up on the floor in the living room and it got all over the air mattress too. So that was lovely. I guess it ended up working out because I have kind of like slowly been cleaning my apartment over the last few days and I still needed to clean the floors. So uh, I guess it's better that that happened now before I clean the floors as opposed to after. Now I'm gonna have to shampoo the rug and carpet in the one spot. I just got back in from taking him on another walk and then I was like, you know, I should probably do something. I'll start by doing my hair and then we'll see what I'll say end up getting up to. I have to edit our new podcast episode because that is going to go up tomorrow. There are two videos that I want to film this week, one of which being a eyelash lift and tint tutorial, but I honestly do not have the energy to do that today. The other one is just like a really chill like story time type of video. I used to share like bad client stories back in the day and I still get requests to do those all the time. And even though I am not taking clients at the moment, I don't have any recent stories to share obviously, but I have a few from the last few months before I stopped taking clients. Like my last few months working in the salon, I had a few not terrible experiences but like I feel like there's lessons to be learned from the stories and I was kind of waiting to share them because I don't know I feel weird sometimes like even though I share the stories not in like a shit talking way but in a way that like you know it just kind of like teaches people like this is what to do in this kind of scenario or the, you know, this is how I handled it. And look, like everyone has a bad experience. So if something like this happens to you, know that you're not alone, you know? I know from personal experience, whenever you have a bad experience with a client, whether it's your fault or they're just like a problematic client, um, you feel really shitty in the moment and you feel very alone and then it kind of makes you question like is this the right career for me you can have a hundred amazing appointments but it just takes that one bad appointment to make you feel really bad about yourself but i feel kind of weird sometimes sharing a story like immediately after it happens because i don't know if the client 
follows me on social media or like if I'm going to see them again and it can be kind of awkward but at this point I live in a completely different state now and I feel like enough time has passed that it's just whatever you know and it gives me more time to like reflect back on the situation and like have some perspective on it because when it's still fresh you can still feel like some type of way about what happened you know and at this point I'm like whatever I can just look back and like laugh it off I'm just doing like my go-to kind of lazy hairstyle because I washed my hair last night pretty late and I just went straight to bed didn't have time to bother like blowing it out or putting product in it or anything and when I woke up it was just kind of a mess and I could like re-wet it and then put product in it and like scrunch it up or I could just brush through it and then run my waver through it and I just feel like I don't know when I do this like I love my natural curls but I feel like this just lasts a little bit better and it doesn't get tangled as much so this is quick takes like 10 minutes and then I'm good for a few days and I feel like the more days that go by the better this looks because it just kind of relaxes a little bit and gets a little more messy I'm just gonna put a little oil in my hair this is the Sebastian dark oil there we go super easy and this is the bedhead a wave we go waiver I will link it down below you can get it from Amazon pretty inexpensive I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then put on a little bit of makeup and film my video and then probably spending the rest of the day on the computer editing oh and now that it's been like a full 24 hours don't mind the air mattress over there <laughs> yeah now that it's been 24 hours having the bar cart here it hasn't bothered me yet so far so I think I'm, I'm happy with that location I think that's where it's gonna live permanently at least for now just finished recording my video I'm currently importing all of the footage I was literally recording like look at all of this footage that I have <laughs> that video will already be up by the time you're watching this vlog so if you haven't seen it it's probably the video right before this one but yeah it's already six o'clock now <laughs> I was recording for literally almost two hours probably gonna take me a while to edit too because there's gonna be so much footage that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night I will catch up with you tomorrow Good morning. It's Friday now. I didn't end up vlogging at all yesterday because I was literally just sitting on my computer the entire day. I was just working nonstop from the time I woke up, so there wasn't really anything to vlog. But this morning I woke up nice and early and I watched the finale of Stranger Things. It was really good, but I'm sad that the season's over now and who knows? when the next season's gonna come out. The next one's gonna be the last one. I was waiting and like all week, I was like, this is the week. Oh my God, I can't wait. And I was like dying for Friday to get here. So <sighs> I can't believe it's over now, but it was good. Now I just wanna finish cleaning up the apartment. My friend Julia, I don't think I mentioned it yet this entire vlog. My friend Julia is flying down here tonight and is staying with me for the weekend because it's a long weekend for 4th of July. And I don't know, I'm like a total psycho. Whenever I have someone staying with me, I like to make sure that my apartment is like completely spotless before they get here. I mean, it's pretty clean in here already. I've been cleaning a little bit throughout the week, but I want to vacuum. I still need to shampoo the carpet from when that coffee spilled all over the place. And I want to clean and shampoo my couch cushions because I feel like it's smells a little bit like dog and I want to clean the bathroom then I signed up for a Pilates class with my friend Haley later this afternoon and then after the Pilates class I should have time to come back here shower and all that before I have to leave to go get Julia from the airport actually before I get started I'm gonna have some breakfast and take Benny out for a walk can you go for a walk yeah go for a walk 
Okay, it's a few hours later. I oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I was just rushing to shower, get dressed, took Benny out to use the bathroom really quick, and I was just running up the stairs. This is what I'm wearing, uh, just some basic black bike shorts, black t-shirt, and this oversized button-up, which is super wrinkled, but whatever i don't care it's so humid outside honestly that it might not be wrinkled by the time i get back <laughs> um but this is from h m just have some slides on bringing my socks if you've never done pilates before and you didn't know um you don't wear shoes when you do it or at least the type of pilates i have done like on the reformer machine you don't wear shoes you just have to wear socks with like grip at the bottom so I'm going to meet my friend at the Pilates class. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye!